Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Yes, this is a video and not a VOD this time. I know, praise me all you want. But this is going to be like a rare occurrence now. But I just had to get this little rant out. So if you don't know, uh, on Friday, the Duality Dungeon became available to play. And it's actually a pretty good dungeon, I'm not going to lie. I'm already in the process of trying to solo it live on stream if you want to watch me do that each week. And probably fail miserably, even though I nearly got to Keitel, but we won't talk much more about that. I want to talk more about the price side of duality and why it's kind of horrible, in a sense. So don't get me wrong, a dungeon is well worth a good amount of like money. But when you start comparing it to like the past and how we've got dungeons in the past, it's kind of just... it's Something's a bit off. So if we go back to Forsaken, that was the first time we got a dungeon before it was even classed as a proper dungeon and had the dungeon icon. It was literally just the story mission icon originally for any OG veterans of Destiny 2 Forsaken who remember that. And obviously then they tur turned uh, the Shattered Throne, which is the first dungeon in Destiny 2, into an actual dungeon thing that you can click on the map for. Now, that's okay. Honestly, Dungeon of Power Big DLC costs 40 quid. That's lovely stuff. Uh, even with Shadowkeep, we got obviously Pit of Heresy with the DLC as well. Pretty good stuff. But then we go to Season of the Arrivals. Now, with Season of the Arrivals, we basically got um, the, the season, you know, the usual sort of stuff, right? And then on top of all that, we got Prophecy, which is the first dungeon to release during a season. Now, I want to bring up this point mainly to obviously talk about duality in a second, but when you think about that, that's a lot of money's worth. And Prophecy is not a short dungeon, it's actually a pretty good dungeon and like pretty well thought out one as well and I had to say like it does like kind of tie into the season as well with like ask about like the true nature of like light and dark and all that sort of stuff and obviously during that season the pyramid ships came in and obviously this up for beyond light all that good stuff now I'm just gonna say this right what happened when those seasons disappeared when season of the rivals disappeared what happened to prophecy I think originally it took either a few weeks or a month off, maybe even a season off, before it came back for free. Now, let's take a look at Duality. Duality in the next dungeon after... So we're in 17. On season 19, uh, are both costing 20 quid for two, like, dun the, uh, both the dungeons together. And I just want to point this out. Why are they doing this? And why are they not selling it for a season? Simple. If you can't buy the seasons anymore that they are associated with, which, let's be fair, duality is heavily tied within this current season's narrative, and it's so weird that it's so, like, it's split off from it as if it's something else. Like, to be fair, if we go back to, like, Grasp of Avarice, that would make sense. Like, that's meant to be a part of the 30th anniversary. That, like, is basically its own thing. And it doesn't even tie into the story of that, but it's still bundled with it anyway. Now, when it comes to duality and thing, the reason Bungie have probably, like, put them together with a price tag is so that, like, in the future, you don't have to worry about not being able to buy it anymore, and they don't have to worry about making them free in the future. Because imagine this. Imagine Lightfall comes out, all the previous season's stuff is gone, the two dungeons then are left in limbo if there wasn't a dungeon key to purchase. Because those seasons that they could have been associated with were already or were removed at this point in time. And then obviously they were like, well we can't just kinda like sell these when we've already kinda already tied them to their previous season, so we're gonna have to make them free like prophecy. Which basically just means like it just it's just like, oh yeah, there's too much free content. We need to make sure people are paying for this stuff. And to be fair on their part, they could have made prophecy like a part of the dungeon key, but they didn't. Like back then. They were like, you know what? There's no free dungeon, let's give them a free dungeon. That that's fair, but like I don't know, I just, I don't like how duality is separated from Season of the Haunted, even though, like, it basically should have came with it. But instead, theoretically, if you were to buy the Just the Like Destiny Season and expect a dungeon, you'd be disappointed, because then you'd have to spend another 20 quid just to be able to actually play the dungeon in question, and then you'd have to wait another two seasons for the next dungeon to come, and then pay for that season on top of that. So that's a total of like 40 quid, so that's two seasons, two dungeons, which is roughly the price of Witch Queen, like, well, which is actually the price of Witch Queen, sorry. 
And like, it just, like, I was literally playing duality on stream, and that's what, like, I, it hit me when I was playing it. I was like, oh yeah, wait, this is what they're doing, aren't they? The cheeky ones, like. Uh, I don't know. And again, you can complain all you want about the season rank up purchase Yoki. I think that's alright, because, like, that's not really targeted at anybody, like, you know. Like, if somebody's, like, not well off, they're not gonna just suddenly be like, oh, I want 10 levels, like, or I'll buy 10 levels. They're gonna be like, okay, I need to make sure to grind this game at this time to make sure I go up 10 levels or do this activity to grind up. Obviously, that option in Eververse to, like, pay for 10 levels at a time is for other people who literally just want to, like, you know, catch up on stuff, like, maybe at the end of the season, they're like, oh, well, you know what, I'm I'm a rich oil baron kind of guy, I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna just fucking spend a hundred quid on, like, the season pass, and obviously the ten quid on top when you've already bought the season as well. So, that's there, that's cool. It's still just, like, duality is, like, my main issue, and then now I'm just, I'm gonna be cautious now, well, not really cautious, doesn't matter, I've already bought it, but, like, I'm just going to be disappointed if, like, the next dungeon after the raid comes out, so in Season 19, that's when this next dungeon's coming out, if it is heavily tied within that season's narrative, but it's being sold separately. Because, like, imagine this. Imagine instead of Forsaken coming out with the dungeon in it, imagine they sold Forsaken by itself, and then they sold you the dungeon separate. Not so nice now, is it? Because <laughs> that's, like... Okay, here's 40 quid and then 10 quid. A lot of people will probably be like, yeah, no, I think I'll just spend the 40 quid. Like, especially because, like, 10 quid for just one activity that you can play. Like, if you have three people, you can just burn through it in no time. It's just like, man. I don't know. Again, duality is really good. Good weaponry, good looks on the weapons. Horrible armor. Absolutely horrendous armor. It's, it's like, at least, like, with the Prophecy Dungeon, like, sure, they're themed after the Jade Rabbit weapon. But at least they look decent. They actually look kind of cool. I'd actually wouldn't mind wearing them. But the Haka armor just... Oh my god, nah. Like, they only threw that in. Because I bet, like, the armor in the Season Pass used to be the armor for Dungeon. Which, honestly, would have made that Dungeon worth more of its price, honestly. But I'd still be complaining nonetheless, anyway. Right, that's enough of me. I've got my rant out. I need to go chill now for the rest of the day, if I can. <laughs> just, Yeah. So yeah, thank you Guardian so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Uh, comment on your thought of me actually making another video and not uploading another VOD to the channel. And also, le leave me some of your thoughts in the VODs if like if, if they're like cluttering up the channel too much and maybe I should stop like uploading them to the channel. And only upload like the VODs that are like, you know, for example, like the week two uh, live stream I did. Like maybe just have those and then the other like attempts at the dungeon, for example, should just be like on a separate channel. Because I'll do that, like no bother, like. Also, remember to subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I thank you again so much for watching this video, Guardian.